This video clip presents the enhancements of the Dimension Label tool. The graphic user interface of the Dimension Label dialog has improved and provides a clearer overview of the adjustable parameters. Let's select this slab on the floor plan view and open its settings dialog. Let's check mark the label slab option on the listing and labeling page of the dialog. This will add a label to the slab. Let's select this label and open its settings dialog. Let's select the dimension label from the pop-up list at the content and preview page of the dialog. Let's open the settings page of the dialog. Here, various content types, 2D representations, and other settings can be specified. Let's select the dimensions content type from the drop-down menu. We can check mark both the show thickness and show area options to display these on the label. We could also select volume as well as surface for content type to automatically display other parameters of the slab element. In the case of surface content type, information about various surfaces of the slab can be individually displayed. By selecting the elevation content type, we can specify to show the label at the top or the bottom side of the element and we can also specify individual prefixes and suffixes for the label. This label type is also available for other objects, such as walls, objects, and openings. The ID, as well as a custom text, can also be selected for label content types. Let's select again the elevation content type and enter the prefixes top and base for the top and base labels. Note that the dimension label that appears now displays both top and base elevation values of the slab. Let's activate the eyedropper cursor shape to pick up the parameter settings of the label. This can be activated by pressing the Alt or Option keys on your keyboard. Let's open the section view of the slab. Let's select the slab in the section view and open its settings dialog. Let's check mark the label slab option again to display the label in the section view as well. The label will be instantly displayed in the section view. We can reposition it on the screen. Let's change the vertical position of the slab in the section view by simply dragging it to a new position. Please note that the top and the base values displayed by the label will be automatically updated. Let's go back to the floor plan and see some other examples using the dimension label. Here you can see a composite wall displayed on the floor plan. A wall label is also visible next to it, displaying the area of the wall surface. If we modify the length of the wall, the area value displayed by the label will be automatically updated and follow the changes made to the geometry of the wall. Here you can see a morph element displayed on the floor plan view. A label displays the volume of the morph body. If we modify the geometry of the morph element, the label value, displaying the volume, will also be updated instantly.